what you wanted But you don't even trust yourself We were so, we were so, we were so high up in love But not enough to bring us back from where we fell Welcome back to another day in the life of a correctional nurse. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Mimi. I'm a correctional nurse in a men's prison. I also have a master's degree in social work. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe. Turn your notifications on so you can get notified on upcoming time. The first thing I do before my shift is shower, just so I could wake up, get ready, and then do some skincare routine. Oh my gosh, he almost made me hit my head. Uh, he's always trying to roll his face with ice like I do because it's just so relaxing. Anyways, let's get him out of here. That's better. I always try to leave it like 15, 20 minutes early because you can't be late. You cannot be late. If you're late, then you have an incident report and then that goes on your record. Also, I don't like the feeling of rushing anywhere because it just throws me off. Also, when you're late, it's inconvenient for the nurse that you're recovering because they can't leave unless you're there. I've addressed this in my Q&A. We don't have a dress code. We can literally wear anything we want. Unless I was a male, I cannot wear orange. If I'm working in the female's prison, I cannot wear maroon. Just want to shout out everybody who's been following my TikTok and Instagram. We just reached 8K on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. Or if you have an individual question and you don't want everybody seeing it, you could also DM me and I always answer those as well. If you guys are the ones that were leaving questions for my Q&A, thank you guys so much. Nothing is a silly question because if you don't know, then other people are thinking the same thing as well. As you guys know, I always address this. Yes, we're allowed to have phones here. If you can't have phones in your prison, well, that's things for you. I'm sorry about that because I feel like you'll be super bored. But yes, we can. And the reason why most places do not allow phones because inmates have like a limited phone call restrictions and they might also call people they're not supposed to. That's why typically they're not allowed to have phones. However, times are changing, days are changing, everything is literally changing by the moment. I know people that are allowed to have their phones in different ones in different states. Also here, I did answer my Q&A in way more detail on the phone situation, but we can't make phone calls on our phone. We have cell phone jammers. So we have to use a certain code to be able to log into the Wi-Fi so we can look up medications and stuff like that. Also, Ohio does everything backwards anyway, so I don't know. But I have had people reach out to me saying that they are allowed to have smart watches at their prisons as well. Oh yes, the famous patches. I don't think people realize this because I obviously don't do it in real time, but these typically take me about two hours to label every single one of them, including the lidocaine patches. After you give them their patch, you have to collect their old one. And if they don't have their old one, then they're no longer getting the patches and they're discontinued. I always have their nasty patches in the back of my pocket because I don't know where else to put them. Anyone else relate? I don't ever know what to say on these walkie talkies. Watch too much movies. Like, Come into it, it just moving like a shot in the dark. My heart, it goes crazy. Too much symmetry. Fall into it. I want to drink.
you know, we have to document every single patch that we give away because they are counted at the end of the night. Hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. Make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you can come along with me on my other shifts. Here, there's always way more fun to come. If you don't already, make sure you follow my Instagram because I am very active there and I always answer my comments. So some people do not follow their diet regimen uh, like I said people sell their patches and stuff like that so here this one was just out of control look this is why I always say keep your hand about an inch and two inches because if a needle was poking up because not everybody has sense to put it down I would have got a needle stick and we can't unload it because it has a certain key that only certain people have access to and I do not have access to that one but we had to call the provider the provider said check, check ketones before they give us a different sliding scale But I dream of something more And I might be down to help them fight for a mission If I knew what all the fighting was for Cause you got an endless list to twist when things aren't going your way You got them convinced the facts are fiction Different spin every day I'm not gonna tell you what you're missing You wouldn't listen anyway but now that I'm here, I've got something to say This is the last chance to tell you that I'm not coming back It's the last chance to prove that I am stronger than that There isn't much that I can do when I'm not falling for that This is the last chance to tell you The last chance to tell you that I I've come too far to let you mess with my vision cause we dream of something more they're not gonna hear you cause the truth is loud and soon somebody will listen i hope you know what all the fight now i'm just getting to sit down and document everything i've done for the last couple hours make sure you guys subscribe so you can come along with me on my next shift.